Teletubbies. <laughs> All right, friends, um, so this is a day that um, I have been dreading since I first launched the channel. This was an idea that was given to me back when the channel was brand new, and um, it's one that I've avoided because I'm not ready for this. I never will be, so you know what? We're just going to do it now. Today's video is my prude ass trying to read X-rated phantom fanfiction out loud. Now, I guess by looks I'm a little bit deceptive. You would think looking at me with like the super goth look and uh, you know, the, like dramatic makeup that I tend to do and all that stuff, you would make some assumptions and not, and one of them would not be that I am like a super innocent, like pearl clutching <laughs> kind of a, a girl, but I kind of am. And this is something that I have been kind of known for um, by people around me for many, many years. Um, and that is the very reason why this video was recommended. Um, because everybody thought it would be absolutely hilarious. To give you perspective, um, I could not even say the word sex out loud and, until I was married with children. So today we're about to see just how big of a cinnamon roll I really am. Oh, Jesus Christ. And because of the nature of this video, um, I'm pretty sure I will be setting it as like an 18 and up um, kind of a thing just because, you know, innocent minds out there and, you know, I could get into some, some trouble. We don't want to, <laughs> we don't want to get the channel in trouble. So I will also, um, in addition, be bleeping out um, many words. Um, Anything like super super graphic while I am going to say it out loud and you're gonna and you're gonna see my reaction um, I I will um, For propriety's sake be, be bleeping out much I'm so not ready for this and he's gonna be making comments. I'm sure so he's actually uh, helped to select some of these these stories so anything that came from me i'm not responsible for mm -hmm. all right so i did uh have like a bit of a call to action from you guys asking you to send me uh some of these stories for me to react to and um our first comes from uh phantom friend dj rose hello it says not sure i'd call it x-rated but certainly smutty <laughs> this could have adult content. Explicit sexual content. There we go. Oh, first <laughs> time. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> oh, French kissing. <laughs> Angst. Angst. <laughs> smut. Shameless smut. Oh, wow. Along with uh, sexual content, sexual tension, and one shot. Not really sure what one shot. What does that mean? Because <laughs> when I think of one shot, I'm like that guy is one shot, or it's or it's D and D. So I'm really confused what the aspect of use in this is. Um, oh no! There you go. So this is called beneath a moonless sky. I think that is enough to give us all the information that we need on what this is going to be like. Ooh. So, um, the red that you're seeing on my face right now, yeah, that's, um, that's not from shitty lighting. That is, that is 100% genuine. I am far redder already today. His hand caressed hers as the other traced the outline of her face. Oh, how she wanted him to touch her. 
Christine leaned her cheek into his palm and heard him sigh. Those lips grazed the inside of her wrist, barely even a touch, and she craved more. I bet she did. She could feel his breath hot and heavy, their faces so close. All she had to do was lean in and their lips would touch. His mouth was there for the taking if she dared. <laughs> I'm already crying. <laughs> Open mouths teased, inhaling him in the hot air between them mingled. It was no longer a sweet, tentative kiss between a boy and a girl. I am already, like, crying. I j I know it's gonna get worse. His tongue flicked her lower lip, asking for permission. <laughs> this this was new and a bit exciting as she let him in. He growled deep in his throat, and Christine felt an ache stir low in her belly. <laughs> Tongues danced on the deepest kiss she had ever experienced, and it was erotic. <laughs> it was as if instinct took over for both of them, a primal thing all animals knew. <laughs> oh, angel, she made it laugh. Wanting him even closer. <laughs> Eric, he purred in her ear, kissing along her jaw. Oh, this is this is the musical, so she doesn't know his name yet. Okay. <laughs> what? Christine's mind was swimming with all these new emotions, feeling his lips tease along her ear. My name is Eric, he groaned, taking an earlobe <laughs> between those sinful lips. Oh, Eric. She murmured, loving what he was doing to her. His mouth traversed the expanse of her neck, finding every pulse point. Say that again. <laughs> Into the thick of it! <laughs> Into the thick of it! His hand cupped the back of her neck as he ravished her mouth. Christine molded herself into him, pushing him against the wall. Oh, here we go. That animal instinct, depraved lust, coursed through her. She needs Jesus. <laughs> my face is so red. Oh my god. It's not even that bad. Curious, her mouth tasted along his jaw and felt that throbbing in his veins. She could feel the beat of his heart, fast and wild. Eric groaned at her touch, her mouth drifting down his collarbone. His breath rasped as she kissed along his chest. If this wasn't what she wanted, Christine was doing a poor job of telling him so, as she toyed with a button on his shirt. Christine plucked it open, then another, her lips kissing the exposed flesh there. His fingers sifted through her hair, and she almost mocked him the sweet simplicity of it. His mouth returned to her neck once more, once again finding that pulse and sucking, suckling it to the point of leaving a mark. Fingers pulled at the laces of her dress and nothing was more erotic, feeling the silk pull away as his hands worked down her back. Christine fell into Eric, letting him undress her. Fingers drifted over sparse hair on his chest, grazing grazing a pert That made him hiss. Why are you talking about me? <laughs> yes, it was just a man. <laughs> Any bodily parts we're we're going to be bleeping out. So that YouTube doesn't flag me. Isn't that gonna be even worse though? It's just gonna be like she was caressing his beard. <laughs> which, which um it, it could literally have been ear. <laughs> and now everyone's gonna think it was something else. Unnecessary censorship. Yeah. Pressing her body to him, she felt what made him a man. Okay. The, hard <laughs> the hardness of it against her hip should have scared her, but it didn't. I can do this. I am a grown ass woman. I can do this. <laughs> there was a deep throbbing between her legs, an ache that needed release. Not wanting to be the frightened little mouse. 
her hands drifted to the buttons of his trousers. The mysterious part of him was just beneath her hands, and she wasn't sure if she should touch him there or not. <laughs> Please, just don't. <laughs> and <laughs> beneath a moonless sky was descriptive enough. Oh my god, I am so red. It's because I know it's just gonna get worse. <laughs> It'll all be over too quickly if you touch me. <laughs> Christine blushed scarlet and was glad that it was dark. Girl, you and me both. <coughs> Could a man find his release that fast? Yes, they, they can. Christine held her breath as he lightly caressed her naked skin from her hip to the curve of her butt. <laughs> The ache in her core was almost painful when he cupped a, a thumb circling around her. This is not even that bad. Like, I am a grown-ass woman. I am 30 years old. I have two children. How does this shit still, still affect me so much? I can see the veins in my face. <laughs> I'm literally crying. His touch was so feather light that when her hot mouth... Whoa. That when a hot mouth took that hard... She gasped. <laughs> oh <my> god. <laughs> I am 30 years old. I am a mother of two. And I am sitting here crying, <laughs> trying to read this. It could be so much worse. I know it can get worse. And yet here we are, because I am a cinnamon roll. She had no idea her could be so sensitive. Eric and lavished it with attention, making her knees weak. Christine was so attuned to his mouth, she didn't feel his hand until long fingers swept along the wall between her thighs. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You can see, like, literally every vein in my face right now. I feel like maybe you should have been you know, that might have been a good idea. Oh dear god, she moaned as her hips jerked. He sat her on the edge before kneeling down in front of her. Oh, I don't even want to know where this is going. Evelyn, Catherine, Kara, I know you're watching this and I know that you are all laughing your asses off right now, so I did this for you. There was no going back now. They were past the point of no return. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. He's the joke. It's funny because it's true. <laughs> I like how high pitched my voice has gotten since I started doing this video. It's been getting gradually more. <laughs> the kiss was gentle at first as his hand explored. Once his fingers found its way between her th all other thoughts died except for the burning desire of wanting him he coaxed and massaged christine and couldn't stop the movement of her own <laughs> use your words of her own hips his hardness pressed along her backside what <laughs> as he rocked his hips in time with her. <laughs> Tenderly, he moved above her, making, making a home between her legs. Oh God, the sinfulness of it. Now Christine understood all the dirty stories of this most delicious act, and his hips pressed between her spread The hard planes of his body to her soft ones. <laughs> 
and the molten kisses that match the fervor of the soft dancing between their sons. <laughs> You are 30 years old. Eric slowly thrust his hips, his length sliding against a bundle of nerves that lit up. Oh, but feeling him rub against her womanhood was wonderful. Her hips matched his movements, and they both did pleasure. <laughs> Reaching down, Eric placed himself at her entrance. Christine tried not to, but tensed up at the first slow thrust. <clears throat> he was just at her barrier, and it did hurt. <laughs> A sharp pain hit as sh he sheathed himself fully inside. <laughs> I, I'm gonna live through this. I will. I, I will live Are you through sure this. About that? So, this is what it felt like to have a man inside of her. <laughs> he filled her completely. With each gentle thrust, he would grow a bit more. Instantly, his tempo increased, and Christine moved at the friction of it. Christine grasped his lower back as the thrusts became faster. Right when she was beginning to feel that heightened pleasure, it was over with a deep growl as Eric's body tensed with a few erratic jerks and then he collapsed on top of her. Okay, well damn. <coughs> that, was, that was over quick. But remember, again and then again, three times. So that was it. That was all the fuss. Just when it was starting to feel good, he was finished. <laughs> Christine still had an ache and wondered if she would be able to take care of that herself <laughs> once alone. <laughs> deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths. Draping her legs across his waist, Christine lay herself on top of him. Here we go again. <laughs> she rocked her hips along. Along his length and his body betrayed him. Christine dragged his hands from her waist down to cuff her side. Touch me. Reaching down, she stroked him, forcing a growl from his throat. Oh, God. You know how many people in the audience are sitting there? They're all like screaming, oh my god, it's not that bad. Like there's going to be so many people in the comments being like, you're faking how embarrassed you are. It's not that bad. And I can 100% guarantee you that even at this stuff that's not that bad, this is so hard for me. Like you guys have no idea and... I have plenty of friends that will attest to that. His fingers massaged and were dangerously close to the seam of her. Christine felt him harden and ravished his mouth furiously. When his fingers grazed her as she slid against him, she deep into his mouth. Christine loved the way he touched her. Eric had her so worked up that <laughs> she was panting. <clears throat> Lifting her hips, he thrust to the hilt, letting Christine feel all of him. This time the moments were uncontrolled as he gauged her every reaction. Tell me, he groaned, keeping a steady pace. Christine shifted her back, making her hips tilt, and instantly he went deeper, feeling him grind against... <laughs> against her... <coughs> I'm not sure your voice can go much higher. <laughs> the soprano in me finally comes out. Faster. <laughs> he, he breathed in her ear, and it was the most erotic thing. A coil was tightening where they were joined, and the sensation became stronger and stronger. 
more, she whispered. Please. She wasn't sure who was louder. It was a strange duet they sang. Off-key, staccato, allegrissimo. And, oh my god, stop using musical terms. I'll never be able to read sheet music again. <laughs> Christine felt terrible for what she was doing to Ralph. Did she? <laughs> yeah, did she? <laughs> Christine, you hoe. So they didn't stay true to, uh, to Beneath a Moonless Sky. It was supposed to be three times. Not that I am complaining that this is over, even though it's just the first story. We have much worse to come. So that was Beneath a Moonless Sky by the Red Death. What? Fluff and humor, horror, torture, alternate universe, one shot. I still don't know what one shot is. Crack. Crack? <laughs> Why is it crack? tags. Oh my god, we've got something about Teletubbies and the Tubby Custard. What the f*** is happening? What the f*** is happening? Why are there Teletubbies? Why are there Teletubbies? I don't think this is actually like smut. I think this is just weird fan fiction. <clears throat> okay, this next one is called A Lesson in Desire. Now this one was found in a dark, dark corner of the internet. A dark, dark corner of the internet. This, this is a lesson in desire by, I will put author here in post because I don't know. Oh boy. All right. I found it. <laughs> you just all of a sudden I just, it? I, I found it. it. Was it like 90 to just zero to 90 all of a sudden? Yeah, pretty oh. much. This is the worst day of my life. You guys don't understand what this is like for me. Especially now that it's going to be on the internet. Yeah, most people would not be phased by this. But me trying to, like, speak this out loud is just where I meet my, my brick wall. Okay. What is it that you desire, Christine? You want my hands upon you. This is where it all goes downhill. She's looking for a fight. <laughs> That's obviously what they're talking about. They're talking about a fight. They she are, wants to go boxing. They are going to throw hands. They are going <laughs> to... That's what's happening, right? Do you trust me, Christine? He asked. His expression set and resolved. You're burning, aren't you? The music inspires your desire, but you are too innocent to know what to do with it. Is that right, Christine? If I touched you, would you melt? Would you cry out my name and throb for me? Imagine that my hands are on your body. She gave a hesitant nod and squirmed on her feet with the swell of longing that raced in her veins. I can feel you, Eric. My hands are running over your chest, sliding within your nightdress to find your he relished her audible gasp with merely his chosen words as his own body gave a resonant responding throb. Can you feel it? Yes, she whimpered desperately, her brows suddenly furrowing with lines. <clears throat> Will you do as I say? Oh no. Imagine your hands are mine, Christine. Use your hands. I am running my hands across your chest. And you she okay over there? I'm fine. A I'm having a strong. And only with her small nod did he order. And only <laughs> with <laughs> And only with her small nod did he order touch your breath. As his body throbbed to his need, he watched her lift her hands to comply. You were 30 years old. You have two children. 
She left the silk nightgown as a barrier between her hands and skin, even though, yet even through its material, <laughs> she felt the hardened peaks. <laughs> 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 Was it? Huh? <laughs> Shut up, I'm not rereading it! I don't think you read it to begin with. I did! It whimpered softly as her fingers grazed them. Miss Christine, Eric whispered desperately. Eric whispered desperately, They are so round and full in my hands. I've never. <laughs> <laughs> Who the f said that? <laughs> the next sentence i'm crying i'm i'm literally crying i am literally crying could you imagine if i had done this live like a live stream why of do you think i said it would have been hilarious to do it as a live stream this is where we're gonna lose me it involves a chicken a tub of lard and a pepsi and your nipples are so hard you're needing for me to take them into my mouth Urgently. Yes, Eric. Her hands were pinching. <laughs> Her hands were pinching. Her own. straining against the silk of her nightgown. My voice has jumped about five octaves throughout the course of this video. <laughs> this is why I was putting off this video for so long. I knew I couldn't do this. Oh no. It gets worse. Leave one hand there and let the other drift down your stomach. To your thigh. I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this. <coughs> oh, cinnamon roll, Emily is um is strong tonight. Yes. Now gather up the material of your nightdress and slide your hand beneath. I want you to find that place that is burning so intensely right now. It's burning because she had Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> why why is he enjoying watching her wipe her ass? That's just why you don't go to Chipotle. This is a whole new different genre of of erotica that, that we'd be breaking into here. Let's, you know, let's steer clear of the the fetish side of things. I'm sorry, not Chipotle, Taco Bell. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stay away from the fetish side of things. It's only a fetish because I don't know how this works. I'm 30 years old and I, I, my knowledge sure is... Shh. <laughs> now touch yourself, Christine. They were both shuddering at merely the words, the desire... Shuddering? Shuddering. Shut up, I can't even hardly talk right now. Her fingertips grazed the length of herself tentatively before daring to enter 
And she gave a choked cry that was more like music to his ears. Oh, it gets worse. It gets so much worse. Yeah, I, I need... <laughs> just get like the, get the little 3D printed one and just, like, just like rocking back and forth like <laughs> I need like a comfort blanket <laughs> where's my grandma blanket are you Christine he demanded hoarsely urgent to hear her answer yes she gasped out and listened to his unbridled groan of approval. So, he avidly agreed in another. <laughs> it's dripping from my fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> Die. This is where I die. <laughs> this is how it ends. <laughs> Those are my hands, Christine. My hands making you so... My fingers stroking you. Don't stop touching yourself. He ordered harshly. I would never stop touching you now. Even if you begged. Okay, we're we're getting a little rapey. Make small circles with your fingertips. Eric knew her release was coming, watching it build in her eyes. Tell me you want me, Christine. Say my name. Beg me for it. Please, Eric, she gasped. Keep going, he insisted. You're almost there. You're going to know such pleasure, Christine. Such pleasure. Don't stop. Don't stop. A sharp cry escaped her as the ecstasy came in a wave so powerful that her muscles spasmed down every limb. Eric barely nearly found release with, with her without any stimulation but the vision of her. He simply wanted to memorize every detail of hers and enjoy this untaken pleasure. <laughs> Is it over? She had lowered her eyes, refusing to look at him as the shame made her blush scarlet. Apparently we are in the same boat. When she would not obey, he gently slid his fingers beneath her chin. Oh, thank God. He revealed his own seemingly shameful secret. When I wrote that piece, I did the same thing. My own hands on my body, only in my head, I was imagining they were yours. A soft groan escaped him. Oh, we're right back in it. My God, a soft groan escaped him. My God, Christine, it was that was the most erotic thing I've ever seen. Later, when I am doing exactly that, and my hands are stroking my body <laughs> to fevered heights, uh, that image of you will be the only thing I am thinking of. Oh no. I could have simply remembering it now. The consideration of his words made her burn all over for a next time. A next time. Okay, that was a lesson in desire. And now we have one more. This one came with a warning. A warning. Like, we've been getting steadily worse, and this one is, I'm sure, gonna be the worst. The warning is, this story was written with one purpose and one purpose only. It isn't PWP because it does not have a plot. <laughs> There's not even a plot! <laughs> well, you can't say you're reading it for the plot. Nope, nope. There's no story here. It is just... But the plot is, they have sex. 
So the related scenes are more of, are rather more forthright than my usual tasteful fades to black. So this may not be work safe. <laughs> may not? If you're reading this at work, then you've got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> They've got way Not bigger problems. Work. You shouldn't be doing this stuff at work. <laughs> Why are you reading like this? Like that tag work? shouldn't even exist. <laughs> Let's see what we're getting ourselves into. This is that's all I can. That's all I can handle. I. I'm out. I'm out. I can't do any more. <laughs> um, so that was one of the most awkward experiences of my life. When you guys see this, um, this will be cut down significantly. It took me three hours. I think it was actually longer than that. But... <laughs> possibly longer to get through just these three stories. So I hope you guys thought this was just absolutely hilarious and you really got your, uh, because, um, I'm mortified. I'm gonna go die in a hole. I would say send me more if you want me to do this again, but I don't think I can do this again. I, re I really don't know that I can do this again. It would have to be, like, you guys would have to blow up the like button to get me to do this again. Like, I don't even know, like what the goal would have to be so Seven. so yeah i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna go die now um link for merch is in the description you can become a member and talk with me on discord and stuff and make fun of me some more uh in there i love you guys i would not have done this if i didn't stay fantastic with a ph and keep your hand at the level of your eyes.